everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a lemon and thyme olive oil cake. I reckon the best way to tell a good cake is when it doesn't require icing and this is definitely one of those. It's delicious, it's gluten free and dairy free but not on purpose so if you don't have any intolerances still definitely give it a crack and it's really not complicated stuff. You should have a lot of these ingredients or they're easy to pick up from the supermarket. I'm using almond meal, which is super common in gluten-free cooking. If you only have whole almonds in the cupboard, whack them in a food processor, give them a whiz, they will turn into an almond flour. I've got some arrowroot flour here. You might have some at home or tapioca, which is pretty much the same thing. Otherwise, you probably have some corn flour and that'll do the trick as well. This is just adding some starch to our cake. To give the cake lightness, I've got some baking powder, so a teaspoon of baking powder, but you can also use bicarb, and I've got some salt. Our sugar, I've got my caster sugar here. If you prefer a healthier sugar, which I usually cook with as well as a Rapadura coconut sugar, definitely use that. You will need another quarter of a cup when we work with our egg whites. Sometimes those alternative sugars don't work as well for things like meringue, but uh, if you wanted to replace this half a cup with a different type of sugar, absolutely. If you're wanting to use maple or honey and things like that, it won't actually work because it'll add too much liquid to the cake. So my favorite flavor combination, oh, that's a bit cool. One of my favorite flavor combinations is lemon and thyme. I tell you what, I know it goes well with chicken and potatoes, but if you haven't baked with it before, it's it's really yum. I've got four eggs here and I've separated them. So we're going to whisk our egg whites with our quarter of a cup of sugar. For our fat component, I'm using a good quality extra virgin olive oil. We don't need any butter or milk at all in this recipe. We're just relying on this guy right here. I've also got some pure vanilla extract as well. So let's put it all together and make a cake. All right, to get started, we need to get our yolks into our bowl. We need half a cup of our olive oil and our vanilla. I'm just gonna give that a good whisk. Now we add our half a cup of caster sugar. You just wanna sort of keep whisking until it dissolves a little bit. So it should look nice and smooth and glossy. Can you see that? Beautiful. It's gonna change over from a whisk to a spatula. And I'm gonna add our arrowroot flour or tapioca or corn flour, quarter of a cup, and our two cups of almond meal, as well as our baking powder and our salt. Now we just wanna fold all the ingredients together until it's nice and smooth. Okay, time for our time. <laughs> Good jokes. All I'm gonna do is just pull, and you can see all those little leaves fall off. Now you can chop it finely if you like. All the little essential oils inside those leaves will release when the cake's baking. Next, a beautiful lemon. I've got a microplane here. You can use the fine side of your grater as well. We've taken all our zest off our lemons. Now I'm going to juice them. So we've mixed in our thyme and our lemon juice and lemon zest. Should be nice and smooth like this. It already smells amazing. Next step, we are going to make our meringue. So we've got our four egg whites into a nice clean dry bowl. Make sure it's clean, there's no fat in there. Also that there's no yolk in your whites. And extra little tip, room temperature eggs, not cold eggs, and they will whip like a dream. So now we're incorporating our fluffy egg whites. You can see here that I've just been folding the mixture and a little bit of patience goes a long way here. Nice and gentle. Now we need to get our cake batter into a cake tin. I have lined the bottom of my cake tin. I have got two pieces to go around the outside. Always use a little bit of oil or butter. We're doing dairy free, so we are using our extra virgin olive oil and a pastry brush. And I just brush along the bottom, up the sides. She's ready, she's lined, she's greased. Time for the cake batter. We're just going to pour. Time for our cake to go into our preheated oven, 180 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. The timer has just gone off. Let's have a look. Oh, perfect. It's exactly what we're looking for. Look at that golden brown color. Our cake has cooled. I'm going to push up. And this is why we make sure we line things really well. Put it on a serving plate. So let's cut a piece of our cake. Look at that beautiful texture. Now I could eat it just like that and be so, so happy, but 
I do have some double cream here. If you had some coconut yogurt or coconut cream, you could use that if you want to stick with it being dairy free. Look at that. Beautiful lemon and thyme olive oil cake. So light. I honestly think this is one of the most heavenly cakes I've made. Feel free to experiment with it. Do orange and rosemary or mandarins. They're in season now and they're better than ever. Experiment with it. I can't stop eating this. Yum. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time for another recipe. Thanks so much for watching my video everyone. I just did want to do a little side note. If I've only inspired you to feel hungry or you're not much of a baker, go out and support your local community. I order a takeaway from those cafes and restaurants that are really doing it tough right now. They're all trying to adapt, but they definitely need your help at this time. If you're on the Gold Coast like I am, there's an amazing little cafe that's all gluten-free. If we're sticking with our gluten-free theme today, they make delicious baked goods. It's called Maria Nita's at Mermaid Beach. Wherever you are, I'm sure there's some someone somewhere that would love to see you and cook you some beautiful food thanks guys i'll see you soon stay safe and well